The key part about this is to make sure that your diode that we get, the line on it, which is the uh, the cathode, that anode being the positive side, this side, the cathode needs to be pointing towards the bottom row. If it's not pointing towards the bottom row, it's not right. Now you could add both components in separately and then center them in the board. But what I like to do is center your diode over the top of your resistor then just simply bend the legs over and give them a wrap around. That way you're kind of getting the diode to piggyback the top of the resistor and it can sit on top and you'll always be able to see it then. So later on when you definitely make a mistake and the pedal doesn't work, you can go back through and look and easily see which way your diodes are orientated. Because let's face it, I've messed that up more times than I can count. So if we wet the tip and we can just solder each side of this diode, remembering that diodes can be sensitive to heat, so you don't want to hang around too much on there. And again, you don't want to have a poor joint, so you have got to actually solder it. It becomes a feel thing. As I always say, once you've done it a few times, you get a feel for what works and how long to hold it on for. Just practice. And I'm sure my friend who I forgot the name of will come on and post another thing saying, can't believe this guy's soldering online because he doesn't know how to solder. I welcome it.